Enthusiasm, let's have fun, all right? Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Good, good, Jay. Good, good, good talk, hey? Box, box, long shots, long rebounds. Good, line. Good, Dad, Dad, Dad. Lock it down. Yes, yes. There you go. Double. Put the ball's up. That is great practice. I do believe we are ready to go, are we not? I do believe. We're ready to go. I wish we were going tonight, um, but, you know, very excited. You know, we know we're really well prepared, and uh, I know our players are going to come out and they're going to leave everything out on the floor. We've had great practices, very intense, and uh, I know we'll be ready to play. Not much to do now. Just try to relax. You got you to gotta call that out. Mine! <laughs> you got to call that out. Definitely. Um, want to keep it loose, have fun, and uh, just really enjoy every part um, of this experience. Yeah, I was down the roll. <laughs> Back up. <laughs> just relax, enjoy the fact that we're here at home, and I don't have to walk back to a hotel right now. Um, and that's it. Just, just know that I played enough games to know that I'm ready to play tomorrow. Game day programs. It's game time, folks. Get your programs here. It's almost game time, folks. Get your game day program. Stop the camera. She's singing Kenny Chesney. Kenny Chesney. Welcome everybody to the Comcast Center in College Park, Maryland. The NCAA Women's Championship first round, 10th seed Wisconsin Green Bay, taking on 7th seed Maryland in the Philly Regional. You know, I, I thought when we came out to start the game, we came out with great intensity on the defensive end. I mean, we really had them flustered. And, you know, it went into attack mode, I thought, on the offensive end. We were extremely aggressive. Um, you know, but I think, you know, as, as time wore on, I, I think you saw Green Bay's scrappiness. Um, they never, never quit. And, uh, you know, I, I, you knew they were going to continue to hang around, hang around, especially going into to halftime. I mean, tied score, um, a game that went back and forth, uh, great basketball in the first half. We started the second half a little slow. You know, they started to get a lot more dribble penetration on us than they did in the first half, um, you know, mostly because of our game plan of trying to protect against a three-point shot. That was our game plan, to make them shoot where they're not comfortable. We're more, more comfortable shooting maybe those shots. They aren't, and um, we decided just to keep, keep with our game plan. Even if they kept, even if they were to score six layups in a row, we were going to stick to the game plan, and, and we did that tonight, and, and we came out on top. In the second half, when we became a lot more aggressive with our break, and you know, Anisha and, and our guards got out and started, you know, really running and attacking. When we went on that, you know, eight, nine, nothing run. I, I felt our team, you know, we needed, we needed a spark then. I was, I was a little excited, you know, but I think it got our team excited as well, got us fired up as well, so it worked to our favor. <laughs> When Shay started getting hot, I think that's when we all started to follow behind her and kind of like pick up the intensity. Smith to Duran, great look at a three. You cannot sag off of Duran. I knew we were kind of dead, and, and I was going to stay aggressive and keep shooting my shot. And I, I didn't want to. 
I didn't want the season to end tonight. I definitely didn't. And um, I know nobody in this locker room wanted to either. And I was just trying to do anything in my power. And if that's just screaming at the top of my lungs like a crazy person, then that's what I was going to do. Uh, apocalyptic, yes. Oh, boy. Shane Duran gets in the way of the passing lane. Duran, pull it up. That's what you want to see. I think that was a, a big play. I mean, you know, Shea tipped that ball and went after it and, and ran it down, which she, she's so aggressive. A, a lot of great plays like that that turned the momentum in our favor. Special with our fans behind us. When we started hearing the fans in the second half, it was like no other. Like I think that was the loudest I ever heard Comcast Center for our game ever, and it was just a great experience. And I'm so glad we're at home and playing in front of our fans. We weren't afraid to lose. We never once in one of the most high pressure environments you're going to have the NCAA tournament when your your season, your game could be over. Um, we stepped up with with an enormous amount of confidence and pride. I'm down one to go. Now that's a winning right there. Liz's mom. My mom's been supporting every basketball team I've been on since like the eighth grade. I see, I see Warriors, I see Ballas, you know, I see people who just won the first round of NCAA tournament. <laughs> Sitting over there, eating junk food. Real healthy. How'd you get in here? How'd you get in here? <laughs> If you don't like hugs, and uh, don't, don't sit next to my dad, because he'll give a lot of hugs and kisses. It's one of the girls, you have to give me at least five every win. <laughs> so who are you talking to on the computer? Uh, I'm talking to one of my friends who came. Like, I just told him that like, it means a lot for me, because all the girls have their family coming in for, for the NCAA, and I have my friends. So I just like, want to thank him for coming, and that's it. I mean... I mean, it means a lot for me because, like, I, my, my parents can come, so it means a lot for me, and I really appreciate that. What do you guys need to do against a team like Ohio State? Um, it just gives us momentum going into our next game, and that's what we need going against Ohio State because they're a great team, and, and they have everything, shooters, slashers, a big girl, you know, they have everything, so we have to be ready for that. For this year, we're playing Ohio State, a team that's destined for the Final Four, and, um, you know, I think what'll make or break the season for us, in my opinion, is whether we went, um, we beat Ohio State or not, because that's, that was our goal. We're here. So, same size next, next game? Yeah, Tuesday, yes, we'll Tuesday. be there. Absolutely. Tuesday, absolutely. Because you're superstitious? Yes, yes. And, we, and we, the hats and everything, it's got to be the same. Close, we're not even changing. No. no. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, it's, you can't change a thing. You're going to take a shower, though. We will. We'll we promise shower. to take a shower. Absolutely. Thank goodness for that. Yes. Everybody's going to be thankful for that. Good. <laughs> Thank you. They're resting one of these girls for the Sweet 16, so I mean, they're not even counting us. They're not counting us as a game. I mean, ESPN said they moved it down to the later game because they think DePaul Liberty would be a better matchup than us. I don't think there's anything that could be more fuel to the fire than that. We like ten opportunities like this where teams just kind of overlook us because, you know, it's obvious they're overlooking us. They're resting a kid for the Sweet 16. They think they're going. They think they're walking there. It's not going to happen. It's not going to be a walk in the park. <laughs> you're eating and then you're just ready to get over here and ready for game time and you know just a long time to wait so I know as it gets closer just the anticipation of the game. I'm a little nervous right now you know what I'm saying but I'm always nervous. Um, I just want to concentrate on resting and being able to get my all tonight. That's, that's the main thing and being able to play the actual plan that we have. We've had a great season, and I mean, it's not over yet. And, you know, obviously, um, all the pressure, the expectations are on Ohio State, and um, we've continued to exceed expectations all season long. And uh, this is another opportunity for us to go out and uh, prove people wrong. Got to get them tonight. It's our home court. You know, bottom line, this is our house. We must protect this house. <laughs> Talking to Maryland head coach Brenda Fries just prior to tip, she said, Jimmy, very concerned about the first five or six minutes of this ball game with my young club. I've got to make sure we get out of the starting blocks quickly. Oh, I thought we came out with, uh, I mean, great energy, great intensity. Langhorn beating Davenport to the ball not once but twice. I thought 
um, we really battled. You give up your body for the good of your team, and you got a player like Hoskins running over you. That's a tough nut playing for Maryland right now. I don't think we had to do anything special against this team because, you know, we've played teams like that. That's, that's what's so great about playing in the ACC is you play against teams like that in day, day in and day out. We, we did a tremendous job being aggressive, really, uh, in our offensive game, really attacking. He's playing on two bad knees. Finishes nicely. Um, getting some great shots, obviously boarding. I mean, we did a tremendous job. I thought we owned the board there for um, quite a stretch. And, uh, you know, it was unfortunate before halftime with that, that big shot that they hit um, at the shot clock because I thought we had done a tremendous job defending. And there's a three with about a second left on the shot clock. It was really frustrating, them playing good defense. And, and for them to hit a shot, hit a three from five feet from the three-point line, it's just it's really disappointing. Yeah, I definitely think those prayer shots um, just shifted total momentum. <laughs> Um, and then obviously us not finding the basket as well uh, didn't do much because we couldn't counteract those shots. That I, I can't even explain those. Ruban is actually Allen drains the three. She we came out a little sluggish, I think, when you know Jade picked up that quick third foul. I think that really hurt because she did such a tremendous job um, defending Davenport. Uh, went through that lull in terms of not being able to, to buy a basket in the second half, and I think that was really the difference maker. And now Ohio State on the run up six. Hoskins finishes, and Maryland needs a timeout. Doesn't look like they're going to take one. Ohio State takes it 75 to 65. Crystal Lang won 22 points and 16 rebounds for the Turks, but four players in double figures for Ohio State, just a little bit too much. The fact that we came out there as a team, and I mean, we left everything out there for 40 minutes. We competed, we battled, and uh, you know, it's just unfortunate that one team had to lose. We heard different things, you know, just things they were saying about they, thinking that this would probably be an easy game for them. I mean, we want to let them know that Maryland, we're not a joke, we're not a game. You know, this team is going to come in and compete every opportunity that we're given. We were ranked pretty much the whole year. Um, 22 wins, it's a great accomplishment, but um, you know, the ending is the same to me. and. and and that's the toughest thing to deal with right now. We're going to be in the NCAA tournament from every year on now, and, and we're going to be going farther. It's going to be farther from where we went this year. I can guarantee you that. He is our best defensive player. She gets up in your face and makes your life miserable. You know, I sometimes feel bad for kids that she guards just because you know it's a miserable night for me. Go out there and try to play this game the best way that I know how. Kalika Brown. Kalika Brown. I've been playing this game since seven, and I I know how to play. You know that's one thing. I know the game, and so I, I try to use that to my, you know, use that as a strength of mine when I go out there on the floor. My first love was uh, football, you know, and then once we found out that I couldn't play football, you know, because that's a, a men's sport, uh, my parents decided that, you know, it was all right for me to play basketball. Kalika Prince from Shaderon. Kalika strives to be perfect uh, on, on the basketball court and off. And at times that's a, a strength of hers, and at times it, it's a, a, a weakness because she carries things. She wants it to be perfect and, you know, just trying to get her to understand that you're never going to play the a perfect game. But she's got a great a attitude. When, when, when she smiles, she can light up a room. Kalika France, on the court, she is tenacious. I mean, she comes to play and to beat you, and that's what she's about. She is, uh, she's a hard-nosed kid, and uh, defensively, she plays her heart out. She is our best defensive player. She gets up in your face and makes your life miserable. You know, I sometimes feel bad for kids that she guards just because you know it's a miserable night for me. My assignment every game is to guard the best player on the, on the floor. You know, sometimes it's a post player. I, of course I'm not guarding the center, you know, but sometimes, like, I've had to guard power forwards, and I have to guard point guards, shooting guards. You know, so I just try to contain them the best way that I can. You know that when you guarding the best player on the floor, they're they're gonna put up they're gonna put up some points. They're not they're not gonna I'm not gonna stop them completely. But my night is my my goal is to 
make it the most frustrating night for them. A Kalika is just um, an extremely versatile athlete for us. I mean, she plays um, extremely hard. I mean, when, when you look at, I mean, there's um, no one out there who rises to the challenge more than Kalika. I mean, you know, she uh, is just so fun to watch. I mean, being left-handed, being able to rise up and, and shoot over um, other players with her strength, her speed, her quickness. Uh, you know, she just really, it's been neat to be able to see Kalika develop um, her game like she has in the last two seasons. You look at the great players, they able, they make the all-defensive team, they make the all-ACC team. You know, it's, it's great players who, who, who provide their team with everything in every category, leadership, offense and defense, and that's what I try to do. I think that you're a warrior, and that's the mentality I go out there with. Nobody can take me down, you know, and if they do, I'm definitely getting back up. As far as the University of Maryland, I wanted to go in there and help them build, and help to build a, a, a dominant program, you know, just like I did in high school. They hadn't been in the top 25 for a while, and I was just like, you know, what better place to do it than here in Maryland, you know? Yeah, I, I want to be, a, this is my native area, and I want to be a part of this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm in a lot of pain, you know, because I, I'm allergic to anti-inflammatories, and right now I'm dealing with this, this um, thing called tendonitis, and a lot of people don't know what it is, but it's basically um, inflammation of your ligaments to help with aches and pains and things like that and just to try to stay away from injury I try to be as flexible as I can and get stretched make sure I'm loose for every game she's the worst one why is she the worst one she's tighter and then she cries like somebody's been beating her <laughs> she screams like I'm just trying to break every muscle in her body When you leave here, you want people to say that, you know, this group here, this class here helped change this group, helped change this school around, you know, and bring it back to its winning ways. And that's, well, it's all in the back of our minds. I know that's definitely in the back of my mind. You know, Chris Weller did a great job here, and I'm just trying to help continue and, and rebuild the tradition. <laughs> It's so hard to say goodbye, like it's all over. You know, I just kind of wanted to, I, I kind of had a job to the locker room. I didn't have a walk. Um, I don't know. I didn't want anybody to see me cry, you know, but this, this has meant so much to me. The tears of sadness, obviously, you know, I'm just so sad to be leaving, but you know, you gotta go sometime, you know, it's, it doesn't last forever. Um, but at the same time, you know, if I was gonna go to battle and lose a battle, I wouldn't have rather have lost it anyone besides the people I lost with tonight. Those, those girls are more than my teammates. I mean, I love each and every one of those girls like their blood. And to find a team that can say that about each and every player on the team, I, I tell you, you go around the country, that's hard to find, you know? But this team is that. I mean, we do anything for each other. At the drop of, at the drop of a dime, I mean, at heartbeat, we do anything for each other. And I'll always be here for these girls. I'll, I'll always be here for these girls. I mean, that's one of my best friends on the team. A lot of people don't know that. And I mean, we have a lot of connections. Me and Anisha will always have a connection far beyond just playing. And I, I don't know, I know I'll always have her. And she'll always have me, even though, I mean, I'm only a freshman, but she graduated. I definitely plan on staying in touch and keeping that friendship because, I mean, true friends are really hard to find. And I really, that's one of the truest friends I have right now. I hate to lose. I hate to lose. I hate for my season to end. I hate that tonight was my last time playing with Anisha and Liz. I mean, I'm a competitor. I hate to lose and just our season to end like this. That's the great thing about being on a team is you don't have to deal with this by yourself. You know, you get to rely on each other and our motto this year was finish line and, and you know, we're going to pull each other through this too. So it's not over. You know, we still have this pain to go through and uh, 99% of this team is coming back, so we have a lot to look forward to. <laughs> my, again, going back to my girls, you know, um, they make me smile, knowing that uh, 
a lot of them feel the way they do because, you know, I mean, just to know that people care that much about you as a person, and that's it, it's just an amazing feeling, you know. Um, and, and family, obviously, has always been number one to me. And to come out and see my family, I mean, they waited around. like They were like the few of the last people in the gym, but they, you know, they had to see me because they knew this was my last game, you know. Um, you know they'll make me smile the day I die. <laughs> this team will never play together again, ever. Um, it's a sad thought, especially because I think this is the closest locker room you'll ever find in the whole NCAA. Um, I, I will say that to you and, I, you know, straight in your eyes. Um, that's how I feel about this locker room. And, and I just hope that, you know, the people that are leaving and the people that are coming back we're forever going to remember this season. So from a maturity end, I, I think off the court, like you're talking about, um, you know, the, the fact that they can show their true feelings, they can express them, and uh, the fact that they have everyone's back. And, uh, you know, they're, they're united as a team. And to see the growth and the chemistry and um, the camaraderie, I think, is probably the neatest thing to, to see a team grow up and be able to do. You want to say, you know, it's a team game, but you still have, like, you, you want to do good for yourself. And I, I think I totally threw that away this year. I totally threw that away. I totally <laughs> have gotten so much faith and so much confidence and so much love for everyone on this team. I'm just really excited for the off season and me recovering and just being a part of it. Because I know I felt emotionally a part of it, but now I want to physically be a part of it. Um.